welcome. Let's see what you're going to be doing this week for your workouts. First, I just want to announce that uh, the CrossFit Alexandria gym is going to be closed tomorrow on Monday uh, for Labor Day. But I would like to invite you to head over to Pineville to CrossFit 28. Uh, there's going to be a 9 a.m. class there. Uh, so come work out in a different environment um, or just get out and do something active that you don't normally do. Something I really like to do is run the trails out at uh, Kincaid. Um, it's the Kincaid East Boat Ramp. Uh, you head down Highway 28 um, and take a left. Uh, I think it's, um, well, I'm not going to give you exact direct directions because I'll mess you up. But look it up. East Kincaid Boat Ramp. Go run two or three miles on the trails. All right. On Tuesday, you're going to start off with front squats. Three sets of three reps at 80% of your max. Then you're going to complete for time 500 meter row, then 40 kettlebell swings, 30 ring dips, 20 ground to overhead, and 10 handstand push ups. Uh, we would like you to use a weight that you can get pretty close to going unbroken on those kettlebell swings, maybe split it up once. Um, on the ring dips, 30, that's a lot. Uh, so uh, what we don't want you to do is completely burn out to failure because um, say if you can, if you get to 10, but you're just completely burnt out, that means you're going to have to break the next 20 up into probably sets of two and three. So, um, if you're somebody that can do 10, that's a lot, but say if you can do 10, like I would suggest doing, um, probably anywhere from five to seven at a time, just stop before you completely burn out, um, then you're going to do 20 ground to overhead with a plate and then 10 handstand push-ups. Uh, now, the handstand push-ups, uh, you are going to be a little worn out uh, from the ring dips because the ring dips uh, use almost all triceps and then handstand push-ups rely on a lot of your tricep muscles. Uh, so just be aware of that. Um, again, we don't want you to go to failure on handstand push-ups. Um, if you're not able to do ring dips or handstand push-ups, uh, there will be a sub uh, for that. Um, handstand push-ups. Um, we don't want you using an ab mat or any risers under your head. Uh, we want you to go full range of motion if you're not able to. We want you to set up on a box. Um, so put your uh, feet up on the box, legs completely straight. Walk your hands into your to the box so that your uh, body, your torso is completely vertical to the ground. But a coach uh, can get you set up in that good position. Uh, then on Wednesday, you're going to do split jerks from the rack, three sets of three reps. Um, then with a team, we're going to have a, um, a three-person team here. So this is a little bit different. should be fun. Um, you're going to do a 400-meter run with a wall ball. So you do that um, together. All teams are running together. Then you do 90 wall balls, split the reps however you want, 60 power snatch, split the reps, 30 synchronized burpees onto a plate. So you're going to have three... 45-pound uh, plates there. Um, synchronized means you just have to uh, stay together as far as completing the rep. So one person can't be on the fifth rep while everybody else is on the third rep. You have to, everybody completes a rep, then go to the next rep. Um, RX Plus is a 30-pound wall ball for guys, 20-pound for ladies. Uh, power snatch will be bumped up to 135 and 75. And uh, burpees are going to make you jump a little bit higher, so you're going to have to jump on to 245-pound plates. On Thursday, we're going to have a 25-minute AMRAP, but each 10 minutes, well, for the, uh, from 0 to 10 is going to be one AMRAP, or a certain number of reps, and you're immediately going to go into uh, different exercises at from 10 to 20, and then from 20 to 25, you're going to go into a different exercise. So this is 25 minutes of continuous work. And I want you to think what would happen if you ran, went out and ran as far as you could for 25 minutes. How would you plan that out? I know one thing you wouldn't do if you're smart, you wouldn't just go off at a dead sprint. Um, and whenever you finish at 25 meters, you're most likely not going to be just completely laid out on the ground um, like you would be if you just went and ran a 400 meter all out. So what I'm saying is this is a long, steady workout and your pace should be 
nice and steady. You should never drop off on how many rounds you're getting. So what I mean by that is in that first uh, zero to 10 minute AMRAP, you're doing a 400 meter run, 10 knee ups and five push ups. Uh, say that takes you uh, two and a half minutes. All subsequent rounds should take two and a half minutes. You shouldn't start off at two and a half minutes and the last round's taking you three and a half minutes. So in order to do that, you need to start off a little slower than you think you need to. Uh, so again, good, steady, long pace on that Thursday workout. On Friday, we're gonna start off with deadlifts. And then you, this is an open workout. Uh, so you've done this before. We've done this several times in class. So if you wrote your score down from the last time, you can compare it. But in 10 minutes, you're gonna get as many rounds as you can of 30 double unders and 15 ground to overhead. Um, and the ground to overhead, most of you will start off um, with a snatch, um, but you can convert that to a clean and jerk. Um, I say most of you, if, if you're able to handle that weight fairly well, which it should feel pretty light, um, start off with snatch. When you start just getting really worn out, switch to clean and jerk. Um, then on Saturday, power snatch or really, really lightweight. Um, so don't be surprised when you put on 50%, it feels extremely easy. It should. We want you to work on speed and technique. Then with a partner, uh, we have a 20, mi 20 minutes of work, um, very similar to uh, what we did on Thursday. So from zero to five minutes, you have a certain set of exercises. 5 to 10, you have a certain set. 10 to 15, you have a certain set. Um, and um, you kind of get the drift. Uh, break up the reps as needed and partner up however you want them. Uh, I'm going to split the reps between your partners however you would like. All right, hope you enjoy.